Clubhouse, children's play area, volleyball court, dog park, and much, much more. Today's model house is in a great community with amazing amenities. Let's check it out. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules, and today's model home is four bedrooms, three and a half bathroom. It's actually two story model home today with the master downstairs and it also has a loft. Let's go in and check this beautiful model. Let's go. Hello, hello, and welcome to this beautiful builder model home. Now guys, if you are in the market looking to buy a house and you're a couple of months away, I'm gonna suggest that you start the process now because the chances are that you're gonna be pretty much waiting for another three months just to even get on the list to be able to build a home because right now the market is absolutely insane so this is a beautiful builder model but more so the community itself you know i have two small kids and this community is surrounded by great school system and it has a lot of amenities they have about two pools they're building a brand new pool for the phase three and four and it's a really nice community it's it's over 1600 acres and, and it's just amazing and they're building up a new school also. So as I walk in, you know, this is a, a four bedroom, three and a half. You have this uh, formal dining area right over here. Of course, because it's a model home, you're gonna see a lot of upgrades in terms of the crown molding, the tray ceiling. You know, you have two big windows here and then also not to mention the woodwork that they have done over here uh, with the nice flooring. So you have this room over here, which is your private dining and look at the amount of space that you have right here. So as you come in, you have the foyer area and then you have all this space over here. And as I walk straight, you have this butler pantry area. What I really like about that is that they have these subway tiles. Actually, I never liked it until I actually saw, and I've seen that in other builders also, and they actually kind of look quite neat. And, and you have these downers over here, which is white in color, which of course is an upgrade. You do get a choice of three different colors in the standard package. And then you, you also have these uh, 42 inch cabinets. And then you have the pantry right over here, you know, which is also a good size. It's right next to, to your kitchen. Not, you know, sometimes the pantries are kind of around the corner. So as I come out of these pantry doors, you know, I come into this open area and you know, the standard with this, uh, this builder is that all your appliances are Whirlpool and they're stainless steel. You know, of course, because this is a model home, they have the upgraded cards. You also have the white color cabinet. What I really like is how well they kind of combine over here but look at the amount of space you have this is all your great room you have your private dining but you also have a semi-private dining over here you have so much space and then as I take you around because I really love the way they have this kitchen set up it's open it's inviting you know it's really nice floor plan now they also have about 15 different plans and as I came through this was the foyer area and it has the nice tray ceiling you have the extra lights which I always recommend and as I go straight down on this side is your two car garage but before I get there let me show you this this is a really nice upgrade to have if this wasn't there, then this is just a vacant cavity for a piece of furniture. But what they kind of use this as a little workstation that, that actually is really up and running right now. Most people are wanting to have some sort of a workstation in the living area. It's just convenient rather than trying to run, especially on a two-story home. Now it does have a master bedroom downstairs. And then this is your two car garage. And then this is your laundry. Let me go ahead and take you to the laundry. It does not have a, a wash station, a wash station, but it does have the 30 inch cabinets. This is an upgrade that you can actually always have if that's what you want to do. It's a two car garage, nothing very spectacular about that. But the thing that I want to point out 
is that your water heater is kind of elevated and that your flooring in the garage is kind of painted, you know, and, and it looks nice. And as I walk down, you have your master bedroom all the way at the very back. Um, so as I go over there, I want to show you all the space that you have. You also have half a bathroom, so it's three and a half bathroom. So let me go ahead and show you that. So it's convenient because, you know, if you're spending so much time downstairs and you need to go to the bathroom or you have guests that you're entertaining, they don't have to go to the master. They have half a bathroom over here, which is a little deep right over here around. And you have this much space over here. So that's really nice. And as I go outside, look at the amount of space. What I really like is how bright this whole house is. You know, you got two big windows up there. You got a really nice window up in the front by the uh, private dining area. But look at this. And then you have your patio area over right behind these doors, you know. And you do get the pavers and, uh, you know, uh, if you look at the video from the beginning, you'll see that the elevation is a stone elevation. Now you can always cover this patio, but look how big this patio area is, you know, and later on, if you do want to make into a summer kitchen, that there is probably some possibilities that you could probably do that. You know, let me know in your comments below what you think of the floor plan, especially this whole open area, what you think of it. As I come around, this is where you have your master bedroom and look at the size of this beautiful bedroom. How humongous is this bedroom with really nice three big, actually four big windows. You have three right up there. You have an, how much light it's bringing in with a really nice crown molding. It actually has a double crown molding and then this kind of leads you into your master bathroom. So as I go, it actually has a closet on the side. And let me go ahead and show you how deep this closet is look at the space that you get it's a room by itself look i'm still keep on going how deep is this closet i think that would make the wife happy because you know for me in my household i know that i only got this section while she has all of that and then she still wants the other bedroom closet i'm like don't you love that put in the comment below let me know if you can relate with that but look at the space you have over here you have a tub nice big windows a walk-in shower and then you have your bathroom commode and they're not tiny ones you have enough space and then you have a nice linen closet what I really like in this bathroom is that you have the double vanities but they're kind of separate so you have the her section and then you have the his section and then look at the space over here in your shower area isn't that too? Isn't that comfortable? Look, look at that. And they have a little niche right over here, which I really, really like because it's very handy, you know, to kind of put your uh, soap and everything. You know, I'm going to go ahead and take you upstairs. But guys, you know, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and do so. I bring you two model homes every single week, about eight model homes anywhere in Central Florida, Greater Orlando. So let's go up and let's check the upstairs. So as I take you upstairs, what I really like about this house is the amount of space you get up here. Look at the loft area, you know, how much space you have over here. Now this could be your own living area if that's what you want. You know, I have two small kids and, and this is perfect because you have so much space. I can make this uh, one corner of that into their workstation. The other corner could be a play area or just a private living area. And I've seen that what people have done. It's bringing in a lot of light and then you have the extra lights. Plus it's also wired with the surround speakers. So let me go ahead and take you over to the rest of the home. So you have the other three bedrooms over here. So look at the size of this bedroom. Look at it, how huge is this bedroom? You know, I have two boys and I think this would be perfect for them. And then the closet right across is also a very good size, you know, for my two boys to kind of share that. So I, I really like the floor plan. Now they do also have about 15 floor plans in total. So, you know, the community itself, you know, uh, if I was looking, this would be a community that I want to be in because the school over here are great. The amenities that they have in terms of kids play area, they're kind of scattered around because this is a 1600 acre community and they are building it out in phases. And right now they're in phase three and phase four. 
and it's right off the expressway and depending upon where you end up buying, uh, you could probably have a house that you could see the fireworks of Disney. So that's kind of exciting. So as I go, you have a bathroom right in the middle. So what I really like again is the double vanities that you have over here. Plus you have a separate door that kind of, you know, gives that, so if somebody's using the bathroom, or taking a shower, this area could still be utilized, which I think is very smart in that in that case. And then you have another bedroom. Look at the size of these bedrooms, you know, and I really like, so it's, it is over 3,000 square foot, it's 33, 34 square foot, and it kind of shows in the bedroom sizes. So as you can see, look at this, it's a beautiful pink color hair, <laughs> you know, but it's a really nice size room and then look at the size of this closet. Let me know what you think of this, you know, and um, if you are looking right now and you're not sure which areas and communities to, to go into, I'm actually starting a new channel and it's going to be all about uh, different communities in Central Florida and I'll be doing that for you. I'm going to go ahead and put the link when I release that because I'm in the middle of shooting for that and I'm shooting different communities just to give you an idea, especially when you are relocating from a different state and you have no idea and you have small kids, that would be a great channel for you to kind of subscribe to. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now, this is the last bedroom for this home and look at the size of this bedroom again. So you see how much space you have. You have a really nice size closet over here. And in this house, you know, I know it's only four bedrooms, three and a half bath, but every single room is really big and then in this one this could also be a nice guest room because you also have a bathroom attached to it uh, with a single vanity it's a shower tub combination nice window at the very front it's right above the front posh you know let me know what you think of this model let me know what you think of this community i'm going to go ahead and put in the video for the community town center you know i'm here to help and serve you and i hope you know and you enjoy our videos if you haven't subscribed to our channel please go ahead and do so until the next video bye for now thank you for watching